This is a Roman abacus. The oldest abacuses were used by the Sumerians about 4,500 years ago. Later, the decimal system was introduced by the Babylonians. The abacus spread from Babylon not only to the Mediterranean, but also to Persia and India. In the Roman abacus, you can move the calculating stones in fixed columns. I'd like to show how numbers are represented in the Roman abacus and then how you can add two numbers. There are seven decimal places here. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands and millions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, hundred and so on. Because the five has its own line, only five stones per decimal place are required. This is nine, one more, and we have ten. This corresponds to the Roman number system where the five, the fifty and the five hundred have their own number signs. The one as a whole called an us in Roman. It can be for example a pound. Fractions of 1 are not divided in the decimal system, however, but in 12 ounces. 1 ounce, 2 ounces, 3 ounces, 4 ounces, 5 ounces, and for the 6th ounce again we have a separate line. 7, 8, 9 ounces, 10 ounces, 11 ounces, and 1 ounce more, and we have a hole again. The ounce in turn is divided into half ounces, quarter ounces and third ounces. One third ounce, two third ounces and a third of an ounce more and we have one full again. A quarter ounce, another quarter ounce is a half ounce, another quarter ounce is three fourths of an ounce and another quarter ounce is one full ounce. So now let's add two numbers, let's say 123,456 and 98,386. First I'm entering 123,456. One hundred twenty-three thousand four hundred fifty-six. Then we start adding in the ones column. Six plus six is twelve. Six plus eight is fourteen. We now have the five hundred in the hundreds column. Five plus three is eight. 3 plus 8 is 11 and 3 plus 9 is 12. So finished. The result is 221,842. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.